if you must date someone ask yourself just in case i get pregnant just, for this man would i keep the baby or would i run many people don't know what love is mm-hmm. so we're also speaking of how people normalize toxic relationships the huge fight resorted to him hitting me is the argument worth the relationship when you have to break up with your partner once many times mm-hmm. it's actually a sign from the heavens i got married at 21 and then now i'm 23 and i am no longer married Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be starting a series called Things You Should Know in Your Twenties. I am super excited about this series because it will involve topics like love, money, marriage, pregnancy and abortion, breakups, pain, every single thing we wish we knew in our twenties. I'm still in my twenties. And also I'm going to be inviting guests on every episode to speak on this. These guests are very much aware of every single topic. I really want everyone to be able to go through their twenties with love, knowing that you're not alone in your pain or whatever you've been through. Today I'm going to be inviting a very beautiful lady called Indideka. We met at a shoot and we began talking about love, marriage, and I was like, wait, you should actually come on my YouTube channel and speak about these things because you guys need to know. I need to even learn more. I am a businesswoman. I own a professional cleaning service in Lagos, Nigeria. I also model. Today we're speaking on love and relationships in general. I've done a video like this and I made people aware that there are stages to a relationship. First off, there's a talking stage, there's the dating, then you have the relationships and we're going to extend it a little bit further towards breakups and arguments and then possible marriage or just you know you move on to the next person so first off we're talking about the talking stage first of all i am 23 years old you will absolutely have a lot of talking stages when it comes to talking stages i feel like people take it so seriously some people might say they're talking to you but you're only just responding like i know some guys that say me and them are talking we're not talking i'm just responding to you and when you're talking to anyone you should like have options don't just put all your eggs in one basket i'm not saying talk to everybody but don't just feel like okay because i'm talking to this guy now he that's owns actually me. very you know i've never heard that before you know talking stage is different from me responding to you just because we are chatting does not mean we We're are in a talking stage We're not doing that. from the talking stage just the dating right i like to tell people that you can date more than one person but i personally i don't know how to date more than one person i like to focus my all in one person first of all i must say this do not date solely because you want to get married that's the mistake a lot of people actually make oh i am dating this person because I see a future with this man yeah. because he's my husband. <laughs> She's my wife. Date to make memories. Date to learn. Date to see life from another person's perspective. Okay, and I'm not saying you should have a boyfriend this year. The next year you're having another boyfriend. I'm just saying that necessarily doesn't have to end up with marriage. Yeah. So don't choke yourself. I mean, like I did. You know, just because I was in a relationship and I made sure, oh yes, this had to be the person that I had to end up getting married to, which I did. For now, I'm single. I got married at, I think, 21 and then now I'm 23 and I am no longer married. It didn't work because of so many things and I'm happy that I know about those things now at 23. A friend of mine told me the other day, she was like, oh, she doesn't want to get married. And I'm like, why don't you want to get married? And then she's like, because people put that pressure of, as long as I'm dating you, I have to be, you have mm-hmm. a person I'm married. Like, it doesn't yeah. have to be that way. Oh my God, then when, I, when I'm dating somebody, three weeks in the relationship, I already imagined that man as my husband. Yeah, oh my God. I'm so ashamed. Everyone is guilty of that though. Why would I do that? Yeah. Why would you do that? First of all, you don't know what is going on in the other person's True. head. Secondly, you need time. Mm-hmm. And thirdly, marriage is not it's not that thing you need to rush into because trust me, a lot of people think they know what they want in marriage, right. but they don't know what they want in marriage. Sure. Relax. Sure. Dates. Mm-hmm. Enjoy knowing that person and i think that's also my problem when it comes to marriage because people see marriage as a tag as well and they forget that you're going to get married to this person and the problem you had with that person is going to be the same thing you're going to have after the marriage mm-hmm. even relationship wise whatever you think will change it will not really change mm-hmm. except if they want to change but it will still be the same and i know people don't change they don't you know them. oh people my god darling i'm so glad you brought that up i was thinking about it this morning mm-hmm. and i feel like i always say people don't change but i'm beginning to learn that people can change for themselves they cannot change for someone else but like if you tell me that francis Let's say you're stingy. I'm not a stingy person. But if you tell me that Francis, you're stingy, and I'm looking at you like, 
I'm not stingy, but let me say I look around me and I'm like, maybe I'm actually stingy. But I'm not changing because of you or anyone else. I'm changing because, okay, for me, I don't want to be a stingy person. That might be what will propel me. But people keep expecting people to change for you. you question. How do you think people are actually going to ask themselves those questions? Like you saying, mm-hmm. you want to ask yourself, oh, I think I'm stingy. Mm-hmm. Many people don't do that. So that's True. why people don't change. I, you're so right. It goes down to change. self-awareness. You exactly. Know? Even with self-awareness, it also goes the same way. If someone, someone has told me before, that I'm inconsiderate. And I looked at her, I told her, babes, I'm not inconsiderate because I know I'm not. I know how many things I consider. I know how much exactly. I put people ahead of myself. Yeah. So being self-aware also helps you not to like, tolerate something someone exactly. cannot tell you that oh no, 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 babe no. you're you're not fine you're like uh-uh. <laughs> are you joking are you you can't tell me what i know that i'm not so yeah. it's not possible so i really feel like people should even be more self-aware before you go into anything so you know that's the relationship part i'm gonna also align relationship with love because it's like you know you should love your partner now. <laughs> relationship ah it's good to have someone it's good to that's my boyfriend that's my girlfriend but slow down you don't you don't need it you don't need slow it slow down slow down you don't need Girl, it Girl, let me just even be a little bit personal right now so there was someone i stayed kind of talking to and i was like okay this could be something mm-hmm. and one time the person actually sat me down the person was like you're you're kind of rushing and i'm like what do you mean the person was like okay due to my age they can tell why i'm rushing mm-hmm. and i had to sit down like i said i will always sit down and review whatever nonsense someone is telling mm-hmm. me and i was like Maybe I'm rushing. Yeah. Maybe I should learn from this other pe- person's perspective. I know that I'm rushing. Not like I'm rushing emotion. I will be with me. But in the sense of that, like, I'm really hoping for it to become to something. Be something. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, relax. Like, it might not work out, and that should be fine. And you might find someone better, and that should be fine. Or it will work out, and that will be better. But you can't rush into some things like love and relationship just because of your emotions. Like, that's why people talk about the honeymoon stage, right? Where it's all happy. And you know what? I'm going to follow. I'm going to marry you tomorrow. <laughs> Darling, chill. <laughs> Calm down. Fight first. Have your arguments. Mm-hmm. See how someone like reacts when you argue with them. I feel like that is so important for me oh, right now. Is. Even as my friend, like I need to understand how you react when we fight. When things are, are bad, yeah. how do you react? First off, let's forget about the other person. Think about yourself. A lot of people, eh, the minute they're fighting with their significant other or even someone they're talking to, their day is gone. <laughs> you cannot even greet them. They will squeeze their face. They are in a the mood. They would eat. You want to kill yourself. Relax. That's why you should be happy with yourself. I know it is easier said than done. But when you find so much joy in yourself, in your activities, in everything, no matter if you're fighting me, darling, I you're might be so a little bit upset, right. but I'll be like, I'll be calm. I'll still do my thing. You are so right. You know, I remember a lot of people, my friends asking me, are you okay? Your marriage didn't work out. Are you okay? And I said, I'm okay. You know what? I'm okay. Two beautiful reasons. One, I have gotten to know that, you know, I have to choose myself. Mm. And I chose myself. And secondly, I'm seeing the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. That is what a lot of people don't get to see. Mm-hmm. Just so sh- short-sighted. Yeah. Just seeing what is in front. They're not mm-hmm. seeing the other picture. My last relationship, mm-hmm. whenever I fight with my man or ex-man, I'm always happy. Why? It says that I feel like I'm free. <laughs> that was you were never happy though. You were never happy with him. Yeah. The point is, the fights are normal. They are very much normal. One thing I had to learn growing up is like, is the argument worth the relationship? No matter who, even if it's down to my housekeeper, like if I'm upset about the slightest thing, I'm always asking myself, is this argument worth the relationship I have with this person? But whenever you're with someone that, or you're even the person in the in this sense, that whenever you're fighting, you go all the way overboard, you forget about the relationship, and then you now get to, what, what they call it, like the zenith of the whole thing, and then you start to think, oh my God, ah, this person is about to break up with me, I went too far. Yes, you went too far, because you need to check yourself. Every single time you get upset yeah you just be like is it worth what i have with this person is it worth what i have with my friend if it's not drop the argument pick the relationship and keep on moving we're going into breakups why i added this stage called breakups is because i'm learning that breakups are actually inevitable i don't know check me check me if i'm wrong like you can break up with someone two three five times and then you guys get married or something or maybe you don't get married ah, but it becomes stop you right there <laughs> We are beginning to normalize a lot of things that are not normal. Okay. And it's my opinion. You don't have to take it. But I've just seen what I know, what I've seen. But I feel like when you have to break up with your partner one too many times, mm-hmm. it's actually a sign from the heavens. <laughs> and you and that person do not belong together. Yeah. Why are you breaking up, first of all? People don't, do not sit down to ask themselves, why is there every three to five working days? <laughs> I am this person. Mm-hmm. We're breaking up. Yeah. Back together, we're done. I mm. used to have a relationship like that. 
what were we always breaking up about? He was always cheating on me. He was always cheating. I was always catching him with one girl Mm -hmm. or the other. Are we together today? No. No. Now that I think about it, if I ever, in my wildest dreams, Mm -hmm. thought I was going to end up with that man, I will be in sorrow. Mm -hmm. People do not understand what a healthy relationship is. In conclusion, when you and your partner keep breaking up every three to five working days, it's not working. There's no need to think, oh, maybe in marriage it will change. Oh my God, that's the worst mentality. What will change, dear? Maybe the weather. Maybe the weather. <laughs> Nothing changes. Where? Nibo. Change where? So we're also speaking of how people normalize toxic relationships. Actually, somebody asked me a question on my Q&A on Instagram because I usually have sessions like that. And they said, give us advices. One, people are very intentional. Both good and both bad. Every action of a person is quite intentional. If you ever for one second thought your partner cheated on you by mistake, you are living on that is rock. So don't give excuses for people. That is what graduates to toxic marriages. Yeah. You're your your man, you're having an argument. Yeah. And next thing he yells at you. Don't do that. And you're like, it's because he was angry. I made him angry. You made him angry. It's showing a sign. The next time, he's going to shout louder. Yes, oh my God, we slap you, dear. You know, when I left my marriage, I was listening to something on the radio, and uh, the girl said, the woman said, she's been married for eight years. Eight years of constant violence and battery. And then anytime the man hits her, he will tell her, it's you, you caused it. You're serious. Oh that's gaslighting. It's you, you caused it. You made me hit you. Mm-hmm. And she'll be like, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, it's true. I did it. I'm sorry I got you angry. Trust me, this is a lot of girls. They have reality. It's not even husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And your boyfriend, you have an argument. The boyfriend will land you slap. Next thing you say is because another man called you. That's the reason why. Yeah, or because another man texted you. The third one is in the name of God, I beg you, I plead with you, do not ignore red flags. That is actually what a toxic relationship is when you ignore red flags. Yeah. And you know what? People know what red flags are. They'll be seeing yellow and pink. Color blind. You know, <laughs> let's go back memory lane. I remember I had this argument with an ex. He, I asked him to take pictures of me. Instead of him to take pictures of me as he was asked, he was going through my snap. That's wrong. Don't we were out of the country. And then he saw when, like, um, certain of my snap, because I'm very actually close to my Snapchat fan. And they were like, Everybody knew I traveled with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Come on. Because like he was... Yeah, it was Everybody knew. Mm-hmm. So they were like, your enjoyment is too much. Come back home. He got upset. Why? That guys were telling me that. He handed me my phone. The moment he handed me my phone, I already... Mm-hmm. But why is he checking your phone when you ask him to take pictures? I feel like that's that's you pushing boundaries. Don't that's do that. That's a toxic person. That's toxic. Thank you. That's a, to- that's yeah. a toxic person. Yeah. And I picked up my phone. And he's like, who are these people telling you to come back home? I'm like, babe. These are just Snapchat friends. Yeah. I've never seen these people. Mm-hmm. I don't know them. They're obviously joking. Yeah. Everybody knows I'm Everyone missing. does that. Like, I just posted you a few hours ago. Everybody are does you that. The huge fight resorted to him hitting me. And instead of me to actually tell myself that this is a red flag, you know what I did? I went to do lock spins to ask them to give me their color chart. I didn't know she's in red. I she just orange. <laughs> I just think, you know, I told myself, I saw a red flag, and what did I do? What I did, don't worry, forget about it. And what I saw afterwards, <laughs> and now that I think about it, I'm like, this person showed who he was. Yeah. Did I give excuses for oh this person? God. I gave excuses. What did it lead to? More yes. violence. Mm-hmm. The honest truth is, nobody is saying you should not have a forgiving spirit towards your partner. But when something is wrong, stop justifying it. Yeah. When you're speaking about abuse, it brought me into something. And we actually have to speak about abuse. That will probably be our next topic. Bruh, when I was being abused in a relationship before... Oh, you were? Girl, I was. When you said this, I remember a friend told me that the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. That's one of the most toxic 
advice I've never gotten from a human being before. And I remember I looked at her, but this was after like maybe the fourth time of being abused, but long story, in the same relationship. After I got tired of the whole abuse, I literally told her, I was like, babes, I'd rather go and meet the angel I don't know and get to know that angel than to be, bro, I'm not going to do it anymore. Because people will make it seem like you don't know what's going to be out there. Darling, it's better for you not to know what's out there. Go for it. (laughs) People will tell me. Um, you're probably going on with your life because you don't, you didn't have any kids with this person. And I tell them, even if I have three with this person, the experience that I, not you, not my mom, not my dad experience, I will pack those three beautiful, lovely children and I will run. It changes nothing. Mm-hmm. You said something, they feel like, oh, you don't know what is out there. Do you know that that is what is keeping a lot of people in toxic relationships yeah. and marriages? At least I know this one, you fuck up. Mm. I don't know the other one where I go meet. Huh. That's even where humans should actually stop thinking in a very negative way. Yeah. Why are you not thinking the one I might probably meet would be good? Mm-hmm. Take Ciara for instance. Mm. She met the king of toxicity. Bro. And then who she's with? Who is she with right now? Her son's beautiful. She's human glowing. Being. We're adding another um category into this, which is getting back together. So um I don't know if you guys watched the video I did was with the questions girls are too scared to ask guys. I do my friend. And he explicitly said that when you keep getting back with a guy, he starts to lose respect for you. People know your worth. They just hope you don't. And I remember Cardi B song, Be Careful with Me, and she said, A nigga go and go through what you allow. Which means a man will keep doing things. You know why? Just because you keep allowing it. Yeah. Well, even for um, a guy as well, a girl will keep doing things if a guy allows it. People don't know what the word mm-hmm. forgiveness is. They just take it to be, I'm allowing every bullshit. Why do you need to keep allowing certain things? over and over again taking from experience one thing i had to learn is when someone does something if you cannot tolerate it darling please walk out in the first instance why because not just about you making them know that oh yeah this is fine but also you're teaching yourself to tolerate that nonsense so the second time you do it you're already so involved with the person and you're like oh i can't let this go okay let me forgive the third time Uh to better it won't be better i've had someone cheat so constantly that it became a habit like me even getting annoyed was insulting to myself do you get what i mean literally not too long ago someone did something i started talking to someone it was really good work so cordial everything was perfect like when i say perfect i was like "Ah, ah, this kind of guy exists I promise you, there was a day for 24 hours, he didn't reach out to me. And that's actually a trigger for me, because I, I don't believe that you well, like you me that why. much. You know why? Because he was with someone else. Seriously. Obviously. But you know one thing, I'm such a chill person. We're not yet in a relationship, right? We're not in a relationship where I'm going to be checking to be saying, oh, oh you cheated on me. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Right? But the fact that you say you like me that much, you love me, how can you go 24 hours out now to me? Are you And you're still alive. You're, you're breathing fine. That means... Let's not say love. Do you get... Let's not say love. So me, over here, you reach out to me later, and then you reply to my snap. Very casually, like a fine girl. You can't even say, "Oh, sorry that I didn't reach out." That's isn't don't you think that's the smart way to go? Fine girl. So then I understood that Francis, this is something you can't tolerate because if this is someone you're trying to be with and they can go a whole day without speaking to you, they will come back without apologizing for that. I can't tolerate that. There are some things I can tolerate, but that one I can definitely not tolerate. And you let him know, babes. I let it go. I didn't just let him know. I let him go. Oh, a girl of my Q and A said, "What do you think about checking phones?" <laughs> My answer was so simple, and I loved my answer. Mm-hmm. I said, darling, what you check and find. If you stay, okay. If you cannot stay, okay. First of all, why are you checking a man's phone? Yeah. You know what you're going to find. Why are you even checking a woman's phone? You should know boundaries with yourself. Yeah. Many of you are not in love. You mm-hmm. are not in love. Many people don't know what love is. Mm-hmm. And I asked my friend, George. I said, George. What is love? He said, love is when you don't have a reason why you love this person. And he said something else. Love is when you love somebody, you don't move on so easily. I said, Lori, wrong. <laughs> you are lying, dear. Like I said, when you've had enough, you would, you yeah. would screw the love. Yeah. You screw the love for the person. Mm-hmm. And you move the fuck on. But do you know why? I feel like that's because you love yourself way more than you love that person, which is what it should be. You should love yourself. Ladies. Yeah. Choose yourself. Mm-hmm. I see the whole Kim Kardashian saga. I'm so proud of that young lady. She's 41 and rocking it. Dating somebody of 28. With kids though. Oh and my she God. has a kid and she's still chilling. Bruh. You just know when you've had it, you've had it. Do not be afraid to go. You know what? When I left my husband, I was broke. Francis. I was very broke. I was extremely broke. But it didn't still stop me from 
seeing the bigger picture and then at the end of the day i look at my life because i left my husband last last year september i look at my life then and now i'm 10 times better no 10 times is too small, so small darling you better you i am better 100 speak. times better mm-hmm. physically because i was 104 kg mm-hmm. 104 kg better spiritually financially you know aspects of my life and it just to me it seemed like you know the marriage happened but it didn't so it therefore gives me the right to tell as many people out there in whatever you know situation of marriage that you have the thoughts of i have to leave for my sanity for my life i have to leave you can leave you will get better matter of fact i think it's okay to be in a relationship with somebody i mean a a boyfriend girlfriend relationship for six months one year before you tell each other i love you i think it's even toxic when you're with a guy and then one month after he's telling you i love you my dear one month two weeks that's a lie you're actually right it doesn't it doesn't love you it's just pure infatuation that's don't worry it doesn't love you and Mm -hmm. that's why you hear girls saying three months after i chopped breakfast why would you chop breakfast (laughs) there people are taking the word love to be so you're just using it anyhow yeah and it's it's not fair the word love is so serious fun fact my ex-husband told me he loved me two months in the relationship now that i think about it that man did not love me (laughs) He didn't love me it wasn't love and then at that point i didn't feel love for him because we're just getting to know each other it was a talking stage and then i mean to ask myself you know i felt so compelled to tell him i love you too but did i love him i didn't love him Mm -hmm. so you can see what it did long run to me moving forward moving on as if nothing ever happened because there wasn't any time for me to build love you see we as humans god my own father has given every human a choice you either choose to serve him or not every single person has a choice so don't ever think oh no i was left with no option no you had had options you're right what you chose is what you chose as a human being Mm -hmm. i told my mom i said mom i'm happy that Certain things have happened to me. I'm able to tell people that, don't worry, I was in the same shoes. Yeah. See what I chose and mm-hmm. see where I'm at. But you know how strong that is for you to let go of that. It's so strong, babe. So how do you even do that? When you know what you want, you know what you want. And I stand by something. If you know you deserve better, get better. Yeah. That's why I look at girls these days and I'm like, you people are dating for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. Know that you have a responsibility as a person, as a woman, to have children for at least a good person. Look at the person you're dating. And then in the toilet or in the bathroom, ask yourself, <laughs> this man, is he father material? Because a lot of girls are dating men that... They have nothing to offer you as a mother. So close, so close of the children. Yeah. If you must date someone, ask yourself, just in case I get pregnant just, for this man, you know, would I keep the baby or would I run <laughs> to visit my friend? Hello, mm-hmm. tell me, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is the father. <laughs> what can I do? And then she's like, girl, go and delete that baby. <laughs> a lot of girls are actually in that kind of relationships. Yeah. You know, I see they certain things online. Yeah, they're themselves. like hello i'm in a relationship and i'm pregnant i don't want to give the baby the man is not he's not for that material and i'm asking yourself how have you been in a relationship with someone with someone that is not father material that's what you see girls say i've had nine abortions for him and he still went to marry another girl because if he was someone that is focused you would not be having nine abortions you wouldn't honestly. you wouldn't even have one because that's someone that knows what he wants. Yeah. All I know is when a man cares about you, he wants to show you. He wants to do things for you. Yeah. He wants you to know that you don't need any other man. Only, oh my God, thank you for pointing that I out. I will do it all. I told somebody, I said even broke guys. If they see some common country kid, they want to send 80 kids to their, to their baby. baby yeah. You know why? They care about the baby. Mm-hmm. Somebody said something, men are not stingy. You're just not worth your money. That's true. We've obviously like touched finances now with all this conversation. Yeah. But one thing I also want to mention about finances and love and you being like feeling like you need to be with someone is that 
as a girl, as a guy, whoever you are, you should know that before you get into anything, you should be able to like be stable by yourself. Even as a lady, you should not enter a relationship with the idea of oh, this person, this person is going to take hundred percent care of me. Yeah, now, nah. see, guys don't like broke girls. The girls don't like broke guys anymore. It's it's not about it's not about broke in the sense of you know broke is a is a mental state. It's not broke about I don't have money. Let me tell you, because if if you're earning oh, the particular darling. money. Brooke, you don't have money. <laughs> don't pay No, you. no. Don't pay. You don't have money. I feel like if you're working to get something, you're yeah. trying your best. You can't really say you're broke. Do you understand? Like, you, it's more of you not doing anything at all. Like, guys nowadays love girls that don't do anything. It never works out when you're dependent on someone 100%. They might want that, but eventually you're going to become a burden. Of course. Do you know how embarrassing it is that you're going to ask your man for everything? Buy some small, little thing. Because guess what? The relationship might end tomorrow. Who are you going to rely on? I'm talking, I'm saying that out of experience. Trust me, if you rely on someone's lifestyle or their finances for too long, when it breaks, you have to meet up to that. Then you start to do wrong things for money or you start to put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't. That's wrong. So even if someone has and everything, remember, remind yourself who you are. Remind yourself the stage of life you are. Keep at that. If they're adding to you, is an addition. That does not mean it's your life. So we've come to the end of this particular episode as on love, relationships. I'm so glad you were here with me, babes. And I'm so glad you brought me on here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So remember, guys, this is going to be a series. So let me know the next topic, if we talk about abuse or we talk about finances. So let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.